In this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about different views for callbacks and how you can manage this interface to be a bit cleaner without losing any information. So here we have two callbacks. We have our active callback from this Mac OS machine, and we have this dead callback from our current Linux box. So right now we can see these are all of our callbacks. If you want to see a listing of every callback you've ever had, you can come up here and go to Operational Views, All Callbacks, and this will list everything. By default, it's broken out into 15 callbacks per page. You can increase this and filter callbacks by host name, or which ones you're specifically interested in as well. For each of these, you can see information about the callback number, uh, the user, the host, PID, you know, the description that was set on the callback itself. And for each of these, you can click this Load Tasks button, which will show you all the tasks that are associated with it. And with each of those, you can toggle down and pull out the actual information and see everything kind of aggregated up in here, including comments and everything. If you're done with this and don't want to see it anymore, click the Hide Tasks, it all goes away. So that's how you can see all of your active tasks and inactive tasks. Right now, we don't have any inactive callbacks. So let's go over here to our active callbacks. And since this one is dead, let's go ahead and take it and hide it. So now it's no longer in our view. We can't task it anymore. But let's go ahead and go up into our all callbacks view. And now you'll notice that this one is a slightly different color. This one is an inactive callback, and it has this additional make callback active button. So in our active callbacks, we only have this uh, Mac OS one. So if we come over here in all callbacks and say make callback active, bloop. Now this changed color back to active and in our active callbacks page, this has been brought back forth into your view. So you can again task it. You won't get much because the agent is dead, but it's there for you to be able to search and use in that way as well. It's handy as a way to be able to keep your interface clean and not be too worried about it. Now you can select multiple at once and say hide selected. So as we go through, submit them, Notice how this one popped back up into view. If you hide a callback and it comes back later, it checks back in, automatically the status will be changed from inactive to active and it'll be brought back into your view. So you don't have to worry about accidentally removing something and having it never check back in again. Just a clean little area there. Now I also wanna highlight going through and looking at analytics. So as we've been going through looking at uploading, downloading files, we've been issuing tasks, we've been doing different things in the environment, we wanna have an idea of what's going on and who's doing what. We can come down here into this operational view analytics dashboard and have a breakdown of what's going on in this environment. So we can see breakdowns by payload type. So we can see the AppFell agent has had 16 commands the Poseidon agent has had one. This is aggregated across groups, so this will get all Poseidon agents, all AppFell agents. We can also see it break down by operator. So Mythic Admin has done nine tasks, Alice has done eight. And if you click on either of these, you can see a further breakdown. So clicking on either of these will give a breakdown by agent. So you can see for the AppFell agent, this is the breakdown of the tasks that have been issued and how many times they've been issued and the Poseidon agent has just had one shell. If we click over here and click on operator though, we'll get a breakdown by operator per payload type of what they've been doing. So Mythic Admin did the one Poseidon um, shell call and did these specific AppFell agent calls, whereas Alice has only operated on the AppFell agent. So you can see that kind of breakdown there over the course of the operation. You can also see information about the different callbacks. So you can see them grouped by unique hosts and by unique operators. So we've had two different hosts, this Mac OS box and this Ubuntu box, each have one callback, but across both of them, it's the same user. So this is the, it's a feature user done twice. So you can see that kind of breakdown there. You can also see a breakdown of when we got callbacks over time, and this will always be in UTC. So you can see, you know, we got one callback here and one callback here, nothing too crazy. If we start looking at artifact instances, this is something we'll cover in the next video more in depth, but you can see here a breakdown of how many times APIs were called and which functions did it, how many times files were created, which functions did it, process creates, that sort of stuff across all of your agents. You can also have 
see a breakdown of these more specific file pieces of data. So uh, how many files were downloaded, how many payloads were created, how many files were uploaded, that sort of information. Super helpful to see as you're going through doing an operation. You can also see over time where these things um, were tasked. This is all your tasks over time um, grouped together to see kind of the spikes and when you had your peak operating hours. Uh, the last thing I'll comment here in this artifacts um, analytics is dealing with eventing. So remember we had a previous video talking about being able to send normal and warning messages. You can see a breakdown here of how many events Mythic has sent, how many events have been resolved, how many events Alice or Mythic Admin has sent, how many were deleted, how many were warning, all that sort of information is broken out here. And for any of these uh, users, so Alice, Mythic Admin, or Mythic itself, you can see a breakdown of what that specifically is. So over the course of this operation so far, Mythic has sent 79 informational messages and two warning messages. Mythic Admin has sent one warning message and no informational, and Alice has sent two info, no warning messages. So it's a nice way to kind of see what's going on, and you can also see a breakdown here of how these messages are going throughout your operation. So that's a brief overview of looking at callbacks, where they are, and you can also have this nice breakdown as an overview of what all you've kind of touched in an environment.